Hello, hi. Nice to see you. Um, I'm back. I'm back with another video. I think it's my fourth and I want to keep I'll call myself a content creator now. Anyway, so hi, I'm Tracy. Um, I have created videos in the past. It's very few. Very few. Um, I got tired, okay? Leave me alone. But um, I have been creating or I have created natural hair content already. And as you can see, I'm a natural hair person. <laughs> I rock my natural hair. Um, so that is kind of what I do. And I was also going to talk about adoption. Never got around to it. I was tired. Okay, leave me alone. Um, but anyway, I'm back. And I am back with kind of a reaction to a video that I've watched. So it's not a live reaction to the video. It's just that the video is already... It's a video I watched on YouTube. So what happened is, there is this girl. Her name is Tamara. She does... She's a content creator. She mainly does hair content, but not solely. I think there was a couple of vlogs in there or whatever. Thrown in the mix. Um, but yeah, she mainly does... Uh, well, uh, uh, sorry, it's just over there. Um... Uh, she's called uh, Tamara Zeki. So, yeah, mainly does the content. So, anyway, so she has uploaded this video of something that happened to her in December, like right before Christmas. Very sad. Okay, so while I'm paused, I decided I'm going to put in this video. It's um, a video she shared on TikTok, which gives you kind of like a summary of what happened. And then after this, we'll chat. She puts in the mask and then all hell breaks loose. Like that few changes that you could see happening before, it was like full blown hitting her hair now. Um, her hair started to mat up and bunch up and not within itself. Um, and she probably had the mask on not even 10 seconds. It was, I think it was less. If it was 10 seconds, it would have been long. Um, as soon as she started feeling that the hair is like knotting up and matting up, she immediately rinses the mask out. Um, and then she now realizes she's sitting with this matted mess on her head, um, completely tangled. And this was completely detangled hair. And yes, sometimes she, your hair does um, tangle up a little bit when you are shampooing your hair. But that was that that was not the case in this instance this was quite hectic um that happened to her hair. so she rinses out the the mask she says that she used oils and conditioners and everything else to try and detangle it but she could not detangle it i will i will link the video down below there's four parts to it um i'm just gonna link the first one because that's where you see what happens to her hair. but if you want to go and watch the rest you can um there's, like I said, there's four parts. And then she tried everything to get it, to detangle it, but she couldn't. There was like massive, massive knots. It was just knotted and matted up. Um, and it looked brittle and dry and it just was not giving life. And so what she did is she made the video. Well, she was recording her wash day, so it was something that was documented, you know. And she is uh, blaming the product. What I have to say, what I have to give to her. When she put the product in her hair, her hair changed. The texture, the everything had knotted up like a, like like it's no one's business. Um, and it, it, this did trigger it. But what I want to talk to you about today is I feel like I feel like my weight is just itchy. That's what I feel like. But anyway, I feel like she's a relaxed girly, like I've mentioned before. And I'm saying the word girly, not curly. Um, so she's a relaxed girly. Relaxed day. Um, so what I've noticed in watching some relaxer videos, um, I've kind of been watching that a lot these days. I don't know why. I have no intentions or no desire to relax my hair, but I was just watching it. I like the, the, the before and after. 
but anyway um but what i've noticed in those videos is that a lot of the relaxed girlies um they go heavy in on the protein like protein treatments and things like that um I can understand why because the relaxer is a chemical treatment that you're doing to your hair and it breaks your hair's protein bonds so now you do a treatment or a bond repairer you know just to replenish replace re whatever um so that is one thing that i picked up and i was like um when i saw a hair matting up on the video when i was watching it the first time i was thinking it looks like protein overload and the reason why i thought that is because I watched a video like a while like really a long time ago where this woman she experienced like the same thing yo i'm like ashy um she experienced the same thing but she did the rice water treatments um and that did give her the protein overload and hers also matted up and dried out and everything it looked terrible and tamara's hair resembled that so in my mind i was thinking it's protein overload so what i think happened is that this was the straw that broke the camel's back um and i looked through some of the models um videos and that and there was like a treatment like diy treatments and things like that and she's very about hair growth and the strength of hair and if you watch all four videos she always says her hair is very strong and like i said when you see strength i don't know if i said it before but let's just say i didn't if you see the word strength in your hair products it means that there is proteins in it because that is the strength that is where the strength is coming out for hair growth all your hair growth hacks that you do now the way everything is in your kitchen it's always heavy on the protein so and like i said she's a relaxed girlie so she's doing protein treatments anyway um so because you know to keep her the health of her hair and I feel like that was a protein overload and my owl unfortunately was the straw that broke the camel's back um that's very sad and like i said she creates content and it's mainly he and her thing is called he tomorrow's he key tomorrow's yeah he key so um it's really it was really sad to see that happening and she was really heartbroken yes don't mind the eye roll so mean but anyway the reason why i did that is because which brings me to another point um she was very attached to her when i say very i mean very um so like i said there's four parts to the movie the movie wow there's four parts to the to to what happened to her there and the last part shows where she goes to the salon is it four parts yeah the last part is where she goes to the salon and they do the detangle and there was a lot of hair breakage um and which was laying all on the floor and they also had to cut her hair and what she did was she picked up the hair off the floor and she took it down with her she wanted to hold on to it and she said with that last video it was like this happened all in december and it's feb now and she's posting the videos now um she said she still has the hair she's still like She's not ready to let go yet. So um, that's why I'm saying she was very attached to her hair. And it made me think of when I was, I'm very distracted. When I was older, younger, older. When I was younger, um, I was, uh, my, what is the word that I'm looking for? If my hair wasn't straight, like made straight, because I used to make it straight all the time. If my hair wasn't straight, I just felt like I wasn't pretty like i didn't look good that day like even if i look good with tidy hair or whatever i just felt like i didn't look good because my hair wasn't straight and you know loose and you know just flowing even now it flows but anyway uh that's just that is how i felt and um i placed my my beauty that is that was my beauty if i didn't have that hair the way it's supposed to be looking i just didn't look beautiful that was in my mind obviously it's not true because look at me but anyway and i just felt like um for her she places there's so much emphasis placed on her and i'm sure that is she feels the same way she possibly could feel the same way i don't know but she possibly could feel like her beauty and her womanhood and her everything is tied in with her hair and i just want to tell you tomorrow if you should ever watch this video i don't know why you would but you never know no 
I mean, I came across yours, so you might just come across mine. But if you ever watch this, um, just know that you are so much more than your hair. You have so much more to offer. Um, you are not limited to just hair and the beauty that comes with it. Um, so just know that you are so much more. And there's so much more to you. And maybe explore. You know, I know you're going on this new hair journey where you want to restore you know, whatever has happened. Um, but just know that you are so much more than just that here. So, for you guys out there, please, can you comment on this video? Like, dislike, it doesn't matter. Um, and if you want to subscribe, I don't have a lot of videos. Don't go looking. Don't even go scratch there. There's not going to be a lot to see. Uh, do I have a wash day where I use this? And I did say I like it. Um, so, please comment i want to hear from you i want to hear what you have to say do you agree with me do you disagree with me what what does what just tell me okay just tell me but anyway thanks guys it was really amazing being back i love y'all bye